What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia and I completely forgot my camera, but I just pulled up to the doctor's office. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have a bad history of injuries. Like I am constantly injured at least one injury every single year. I grew up doing gymnastics, so obviously I was very exposed to dangerous things and I would just always hurt myself at least one time a year, not on purpose, of course, but um, even after gymnastics, this trend has just continued. So um, unfortunately, last fall in Pittsburgh, I rolled my ankle really bad on a run, broke it, retore a bunch of the ligaments that had not really healed, but like scar tissue filled them in because I have rolled this ankle so many times, but I like retore everything and broke the bottom of my ankle bone. That was last fall. I almost made it through 2021 with no injuries, but um, Christmas morning at 6 a.m., we were halfway through a run, Cameron and I, and when we went to turn around at like the halfway point, I rolled my ankle right off the side of like the trail. So um, yeah, Cameron gave me a piggyback ride part of the way. I walked like a mile and a half of it back. Ankle isn't doing as terrible as the time I rolled it in Pittsburgh, but it's also not doing well. So I'm in my boot right now from last fall when I rolled my ankle and I just pulled up to the exact same doctor. Luckily, I could get an appointment with the exact same guy. Who knows if he remembers me, but I did really like him. So I'm about to go into that appointment and I will keep you guys posted on how my ankle is going. It's a lot less swollen, but it's painful when it's not on the ground. Like if it's on the ground with pressure on it, it's really not that painful. It's whenever like my foot lifts up to take my next step that it gets painful. And that's kind of how it was last time. And that's how my knee was when I broke my knee. So we shall see. They have an x-ray like in-house here and then I'll meet with my doctor. So fingers crossed, everything goes well. Surgery has been on the table like the past three times I have done this to my ankle. So we'll see. This is the sixth serious roll to this left ankle. So it's really been through the ringer. But let's go inside and I will talk to you guys afterwards. update he said i don't have to wear the boot i am just in my brace that i got last time so we did x-rays there is no fracture this time so good job juliet not breaking a bone for once probably most likely retore all of that scar tissue like i was talking about because he could feel like a lot of instability like my ankle was super loose but with rehab which i am very well trained on now i have done it so many times so with proper ankle rehab and like staying moving, but in a controlled and stable way, I should be fine. He's like, you don't technically need the surgery. I could do like basically reconstruction of my ATFL ligament, which has been torn forever. And it just fills in with scar tissue. I re-tear it, it fills in. But he was like, I really don't think it's necessary. Like, yes, if it, be, if it comes to a point where you're spraining your ankle, like, constantly like multiple times a year then it might be worth it but he's like but in all honesty if it were me i probably wouldn't do it i'd rather just put up with like one ankle sprain a year or less and not get the surgery because the surgery does put you at a risk of kind of losing some of my flexibility some of my range of motion it, i could become super stiff i have a lot of friends who have had bad experiences with ankle surgeries so if i can avoid it i am going to i'll rehab it a ton just like last year i'm sure you guys saw me doing my rehab all the time if you have been watching my youtube channel for over a year now so gonna get back into the rehab i'm wearing the brace he said to keep wearing the brace for a few weeks and that is about it so i'm very glad that i didn't break anything this time very glad that he didn't say i would need surgery um yeah he said later down the line if it becomes super annoying i can get surgery and kind of fix it it does kind of bring up that risk of losing some range of motion and some flexibility and mobility within my ankle so for now we got the brace on we're gonna rehab it we're gonna take it easy for a few weeks and hopefully i am better soon so that is the ankle update 
let's drive home. All right, I'm home, ankle brace is on, and it'll pretty much be on the next few weeks, especially when I'm like doing stuff, moving around, working, training my clients, and it will definitely be on from here on out whenever I'm running, especially if I'm running in the dark. That was just kind of stupid of me. But brace on, about to do some ankle rehab and a very light workout, pretty much just upper body and core with that ankle rehab thrown in. I haven't done any type of physical activity since Chris this morning when I did this to my ankle. It is only Monday, December 27th, so I really only took one day off, but today's is gonna be super light and it'll kind of be a good look at what the remainder of my workouts will be like until my ankle is feeling 100%. I don't wanna like rush it or skip out on rehab and stuff like that because I want it to heal properly, especially since I am so prone to hurting this ankle because of its history with my gymnastics career. So, going to rehab it properly just like I did last fall. I'm gonna be very careful when I'm running. I'm gonna stay in this brace whenever I'm running. And I'm gonna continue wearing this until it feels a lot more stable on its own. So without further ado, let's get into some ankle rehab. I feel like this is such deja vu from last year. <laughs> I am also in no way like a physical therapist or a medical professional. I am just a personal trainer. I did have this injury many times, many times in college. I worked one-on-one -on -one with my athletic trainer. I've worked with many physical therapists and my doctor that I went to today for this specific injury. It has happened so many times. I just have very poor ligaments because of doing gymnastics for so long. So I'm not seeing a physical therapist. I'm not saying these are the rehab exercises you should do if you sprain your ankle or if you hurt your ankle. This is just what I have learned from past physical therapists, my athletic trainer in college, and this is what works for me. I did all these exercises the last time I sprained my ankle and fractured my ankle, and everything healed perfectly. My ankle was super strong, super stable. I just have terrible luck, and I tripped off a curb once again. So, I'm not saying I'm a professional. I'm not saying to do what I am doing. This is just the ankle rehab that works for me.
40 minutes of movement done. I really had no goal or purpose or like intentions going into this workout besides just moving my body. I've been so sedentary the past two days, like ever since actually rolling my ankle, I have done nothing but sit on the couch and sit in the car, like literally nothing, which is insane for me. So I just wanted to move my body and that felt amazing. I started with 15 minutes of like beginning stages of ankle rehab exercises, then hopped on the bike for five minutes just to kind of get a little bit warmer. Then I jumped into like 20 minutes of five different exercises, 10 reps of each, five rounds through, it took 20 minutes. It was like amazing to move my body, like I said, and it was nothing too crazy, nothing too strenuous. I was just kind of easing back into things and getting my body used to moving again, even though it's only been two days. I know it sounds weird, but like, it is so weird for me to sit still for that long. Like I was bored out of my mind. I probably could have done some light stuff yesterday, but I wanted to wait till that final diagnosis just to kind of be safe. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And with me and my history, I have like, the strangest weird injuries ever. So I was very relieved that this was just a sprain, not a break, no fracture like last time. So this was honestly best case scenario for how hard I rolled my ankle, how painful that was, and the sound my ankle made when it rolled off of this trail I was on. So very happy, glad I got to move my body. But that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little ankle update. I know it was a short, sweet, to the point video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a like, give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all next time. Bye.